on this glorious day that New York City, these fans have been one of the best fan bases of all time. Who are you guess the post for base are gonna be enough? I'm not sure it is Hex. He's stuck in diving, dipping and dodging. OT still ticking down, but they have May on the point. London are gonna take the first map, or first stage, I should say. There are now more than 118,000 cases in 114 countries. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. When COVID hit globally, I think the biggest logistical challenge that we had to face was the fact that we had to move out of New Jersey and get everyone here to Korea. And we only had a couple days to do so. So uh, we had everything set up, like the practice facility, uh, the, the Airbnbs that we were using to have the players stay and sleep in. Um, we had to get rid of everything and move to Korea very quickly within maybe four or five days. So taking everything down, closing all the deals, making sure that we could get out the leases. Um, it was it was pretty crazy for for those four or five days. What's it been like being a Spitfire fan in 2020? It's been tough with having a whole new team and needing the time to get to know them and in many ways mourning the players that are no longer with us was really tricky. And then with everything that happened with COVID-19 and lockdown and you know, the pause in the games that happened. I think it made following the team more difficult than it's ever been. I think a lot of us here in London, in the London scene, had such an identity around going to the viewing parties in the bars and, you know, meeting up in between games. And that made the whole experience of being a Londoner and a London Spitfire fan all the more difficult when everything had to kind of move online and we didn't get to see as much of our team uh, in those few weeks and months while they were moving as we would have liked. Uh, I was in the United States for a lot of people. I was in the United States for a lot of people. I was in the United States for a lot of people. I was in the United States for a lot of people. I was in the United States for a lot of people. I was in the United States for a lot 편하다고 생각을 하고 있습니다. Being a London Spitfire fan is about in some ways national pride and so I think being a Spitfire fan is about coming from lots of different places and having commonality. You've got London that is wonderfully diverse and Hang and Iron reflects that in where our fans come from, the languages that we speak or sign. Um, our sexualities and gender expressions and the number of female gamers who are active and proactive in Hangar 9 and in just about all of our leadership roles. And then you bring in the rest of the UK that adds to that fabric of being a Spitfire fan. And then you've got the, the online community who support the players or like the identity or just mesh with the team. It being a really strong, cohesive group of fans who some of their fans for the players, some of them like me are here because we're Londoners. Um, and all of us kind of coming together is what makes being a Spitfire fan, I think, really unique and really quite powerful. I was the first time I was the first time I was in New York. I was in the first time I was in the first time I was in the first time I was in the 온라인 대회로 바뀌면서 그 많이 떨리는 건좀 없어졌는데 그 이제 팬들을 못 본다는 게좀 아쉬운 것 같아요. 음, 어려운, 어려운 면들은 그냥 없었고 아쉬웠던 점들이 그냥 저희 홈스탠드 팬들 못본 거랑 그 긴장감이 많이 없어졌다는 거? 그, 그 오프라인 리그에서 대회 무대 올라가는 그 긴장감이 많이 없어졌다는 거? 그게 좀 아쉬웠던 것 같아요. This team, given that a lot of the players are brand new to the league and are rookies, we 
initially planned this out pretty meticulously so that we'd be able to play much of the East Coast and Southern American teams um, who are not very much higher in the standings um, in terms of the entire league. So we were planning that, you know, okay, we'll be playing all these teams that are technically weaker on the weaker side of the you know, standings and we should be able to defeat them one by one, can learn a lot of lessons and giving everyone some experience, stage experience and have helped them evolve as a team. But evidently that, you know, that plan didn't really work out didn't really go through so we had to have everyone come here to APAC region. Having the team relocated um, to, to Asia and playing in that in that zone was a challenge. One, competitively, we, we were dropped in amongst some, some very strong teams as opposed to reportedly the Western region, the North American region was seen as um, a little bit softer in places. Probably more importantly for the fans, it was a, it was a real challenge just the time zones with, with matches being early hours of the morning for those who wanted to tune into the broadcast but also those who wanted to to come down for our live watch party events. It worked out in the end. We were able to get some really nice uh, digital viewing parties going in the morning, despite everything that's been happening, um, and meet in a safe and responsible way, still cheer on the team, have a good time, um, and manage to do that at 9 a.m. internet <laughs> 좀 끊기는 그게 있었어요. 가끔 이제 조금 다른 서버에서 저희가 대회를 하거나 그럴 때는 핑이 조금씩 튈 때가 있었는데 그럴 때는 조금씩 불편했던 것 같아요. If you speak to esports pros, speed is important. They want the ping as low as possible. To be honest, what's the most important is consistency of the, of the signal and the service. Packet loss in particular, where, where you get those spikes is where issues can arise. Um, we, we were lucky in Boyle County in Korea to have, have, a, uh, have a fast service. So for 2021, like 2020, I think it's going to be a tumultuous year to begin with. I think there are a lot of changes coming and I think how we handle that is going to be really difficult. It's not as if we're not used to adversity being London Spitfire fans anyway. I hope that whatever happens that we're all kind of still able to kind of stick together and be fans and find ways to still engage with our team. And I'm looking forward to hopefully viewing parties starting up in safer and responsible ways that take into account everything that's been happening. No, drop so we can respawn with this team. The Ooh, Shatter! Got eaten and meanwhile the Shatter comes in from Jester. They're gonna run right over Philly again. Carpe drops to the self-destruct. Man, they were ready for that one. They were red like a dust.